Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, Jane was just saying, but the it is kind of interesting, the indigenous, that this, I think Catherine was saying that we have this connection, there's quite a lot of indigenous community connection in Fair Island. <clears throat> so I don't think that's by chance. I mean, if, if the point were on place, then, <clears throat> you know, indigenous peoples are the ones probably with the still, <laughs> with, who still have the best, the strongest connection to, to places that maybe the rest of society, modern society is kind of lost to some extent. Yeah, I'm really interested in that component of the project personally. I think, you know, one thing we haven't really done is, well, the two things. One is like how we're going to actually integrate that into the DMP process and, and like the metadata we're recording about a project beyond the, the GM entry. Um, and then also, you know, how we um, incorporate that into the policy, you know, more, maybe more explicitly. I don't know. Um, yeah, Jane showed in GEOM, they have a, a there's a, a way of incorporating the labels and notices now. Mm -hmm. so it would be nice to have the same in the DMP tool. Yep, absolutely. That's that's where I'd like to move towards. So, I guess there is, you know, flagging. Do you have? Will you be collecting data? Is that a question? I mean, that's it's in the DMP, right? I mean, to describe the kind, obviously, describing the kinds of data you collect is part of the process. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I mean, you all are still working on the exact questions, but at this point, mm -hmm. I don't think we have one specific to indigenous data, so we should, mm -hmm. and we could just, you know, point it to a TK label or something. Right, right. Um, so maybe that's kind of more the next the functionality of pushing you then towards something or at least encouraging, if not requiring. Yep. Um, yeah. Which gets to another level of the data policy, right? So at the moment, the data policy is very generic. It doesn't require specific implementations. Yeah. Yeah. But we can definitely, you know, tweak that and, make it more specific. Um, I think it's, for, for, from my perspective, it's more useful to be specific because then I can, it pushes me to add new functionality, so. Um. Yeah. It's gonna, I think it becomes like when you actually implement something, we become, but then if you come to say this particular station, it's like we now require you to use this yeah. implementation of mm -hmm. that policy. Yeah, I mean, but this that aspect, I would imagine, would really um, <clears throat> apply pretty universally to, to most stations, especially after yep. our conversations with um, from the UCNRS meeting, yeah. people were mm -hmm. pretty. Um, yeah, I think you can at least have a default, you know, like this is what you, you need to use. If you don't want to use it, we can talk about it. But <laughs> <laughs> right, so there might be legitimate reasons not to, and there might be other mm -hmm. solutions we don't know about that might be as good or better. So if someone says I can't use it, or I, I have something else I'd prefer to use, then you can get into a more active discussion if that's acceptable. Yeah. But uh, yeah. most people might not even want to have to make those decisions. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll use that, sure, all right, I'll use that. Yeah, I get the sense of that. For sure. <laughs> Just give me the package. <laughs> just tell me what I gotta do. Totally. Yeah, we gotta go back to the room. Okay. Do you remember how to oh just exit? Okay. All right. See you there. Yeah. Okay.